Antonino, and this is Dennis Barnum, and we're both very excited to have you join us today uh, for a virtual walkthrough of our brand new Rapid Prototyping Service Center in Rocky Hill, Connecticut. We'll talk more about TriMic RP services a bit later, but for now, why don't you tell us a bit more about this gigantic machine that we're standing in front of here, Dennis? Absolutely, Rich. The machine that we're standing in front of is the Stratasys F900. It's the newest machine in our shop, and it's capable of printing massive parts up to three feet wide by two feet deep and by three feet tall. For reference, that's about 1,025 McDonald's Big Macs or 48 PlayStation 5s, if you can find them. Wow, that's incredible, Dennis. And might I add, what creative units of measure you have there? What are some of the materials that this machine offers that make it stand out? That's a great question, Rich. The F900 can print in most of the highest end thermoplastics available, but some of the top options are polycarbonate, which is a great mid-level temperature resistant material. It's great for things like thermoforming molds and has a variant called PC ISO, which is great for prototyping medical devices. Also on this machine, we're able to do a carbon fiber filled nylon 12, which is super rigid material that's fantastic for strong, lightweight jigs and fixtures. And with me, I actually have a, a bar that we have printed. And as you can see, it's really strong. Ah, I can't break it. And we also have, you know, lightweight jigs and fixtures. We have a, a CNC machine tool here, super lightweight and capable of uh, withstanding the, the harsh environment of being in a CNC machine. Well, that looks like it would be great to keep a part flat and not move around while also maintaining its rigidity after use. Absolutely. And we have the extremely high heat resistant Ultim 1010 material, which can withstand temperatures up to 421 degrees Fahrenheit and also has a certified grade variant uh, that's autoclavable and safe for contact with food. Wow, hmm. interesting stuff. What are a few other important things that everybody should know about this behemoth of a printer? This printer has one of the tightest tolerance ranges out there of plus or minus three and a half thousandths of an inch. A fun fact about this freight train of a 3D printer is that it actually weighs more than twice what my Honda Civic does. Wow. And lastly, if you need to print something that's huge and it would take way too long to print any of the other technologies, we can print at a 20 thousandths layer height in ASA. These very thick layers can help drastically speed up the printing process to shorten lead times and lower project costs. Wow, that's incredible, Dennis. Well, we'll catch up with you in a bit to talk more about our Polyjet technology. Sounds good, Rich. I'll be over by the J55 if you need me. Thanks. Sounds good. As I mentioned it once or twice uh, earlier, Primac RP Services is a fantastic offering that brings clients who aren't ready to bring their 3D printing hardware in-house yet the ability to print on our machines. Primac RP Services takes all of the machine capabilities that we have in-house, as well as the capabilities of our service partners as well, that includes selective laser sintering, stereolithography, direct metal laser sintering, multi-jet fusion, urethane casting, and more. We make these technologies available to all of our clients without ever needing to purchase a machine or even learning how to use the technology. You may know exactly what you need and would like to have these models made in our shop, or you might have an approximate idea of what you're looking for, but aren't quite sure how to get them made. Our team will listen to you and lend our expertise to help guide you through the decision-making process and make sure that you get the best parts every time. The best way to submit an RP services request is to either reach out to your local Trimac sales representative and ask about our RP services department, or head over to Trimac.com and submit a request under the services tab. Once we get your request, a member of my team will reach out to you and discuss what we can do to help. Getting back to our shop's capabilities, Let's take a look at this Fortis 450 to my left. This industrial FDM 3D printer uh, from Stratasys has a build capacity of 16 inch by 14 inch by 16 inch, which is approximately 239 average size oranges. One of the standout materials that I like to highlight for you on this machine is the Ultim 9085 material, which is one of our best all around higher heat thermoplastics. But it has a fantastic surface finish while also boasting very solid overall mechanical properties. So it's a great uh, all around material for high stress uses. You can see right now on the build chamber, uh, the actual build platen, we have a big Ultima 9085 tan part. Uh, this is an aerospace ductwork piece, and it's a great example of something that's going to be uh, actually used in a higher heat environment, uh, but it still needs to look good and have overall very solid dimensional accuracy uh, stats. Uh, these parts to my right uh, are also parts that can be done on the 450 and the 380. 
we have a whole handful of very large ABS parts. You know, these parts may just be bolted onto an assembly to see how it looks. Uh, other ones are going to be more substantial, a little more substantial, uh, you know, a little bit stronger and actually see field testing usage. We also have materials like PC, uh, poly, uh, polycarbonate that Dennis was talking about earlier. Um, so for areas where you do need strength for actual testing, uh, this is a great application, you know, to keep in mind. And then, oh, whoa, very heavy. Nope, just kidding. This is uh, a sparse-filled dumbbell part. Uh, this model has a natural sparse infill that we actually just applied on the printer. So if you're thinking about making a part and you need it to be lightweight, you don't necessarily need to go through and actually modify your part in CAD to take advantage of this lightweight capability. You just have to let us know. We need that to have a sparse, low-density infill, and we can apply that on the printer and lower the, uh, the, the actual overall weight of the part, cost of the part, and the lead time. Our F-Series 3D printers are fantastic office-friendly machines capable of printing a solid selection of materials with build capacities that start at a 10-inch cube, uh, and the largest build capacity on that line, which is the F-370, uh, has a build capacity of 14-inch by 10-inch by 14-inch. Our F-170 and F-270 machines are capable of printing in ABS, ASA, and PLA, uh, which are lower-end thermoplastics that are just great for, you know, kind of show and tell parts. Uh, and then we also have on those machines the TPU-92A material. You see here, it's quite flexible, but also it has great memory. It bounces right back to shape every time. Um, this material has a shore A durometer value of 92, and that's the only durometer value that we have for that material, uh, but it's great at what it does. We also have, uh, in addition to those materials, a new material coming out next month called ABS-CF-10. Uh, this material, similar to nylon 12-CF on the higher-end machines, uh, is a very high rigidity material uh, and is going to be available on the entire F123 line from the F170 up to the F370. Uh, as you can see here, I have a bar similar to our nylon 12CF bar, and it is incredibly hard to get this thing to bend at all. We also have, finally, available on only our F370 machine, uh, this Dyron material. Uh, Dyron is very similar to Delrin. It's a mineral-filled nylon material and it has some properties that are very interesting uh, for use. Uh, so of those, uh, it has an incredibly low surface friction, which makes it ideal for applications where your model will need to be in direct contact with a surface that can't be marred easily, uh, such as clamps for a chrome handlebar, or in this case, we have gears that need to make contact with a polished metal surface uh, and not scuff that surface up. Surprisingly, Dyron also boasts the highest impact resistance of all materials we offer. So, if you need a part that's going to get beat up, Dyron is a great material to keep in mind. As I mentioned before, though, if you're not ready to bring this technology in-house, we offer all these 3D printing capabilities through our 3D print services facility here in Connecticut. So don't hesitate to reach out to your local sales representative or submit a request on our website to get rapid prototyping quote today. Let's shift gears now for a bit and take a look at our PolyJet 3D printers with Dennis. Great to see you all again. Let's take a minute and talk about PolyJet technology, and in particular, the newest PolyJet machine available, the Stratasys J55. The Stratasys J55 is an excellent new addition to the PolyJet lineup, as it is their most office-friendly 3D printer to date. With low odor output thanks to the Pro Aero Air Extractor system, minimal noise output due to the rotational platen system, and not to mention its best-in-class build size to footprint ratio of 27%, the J55 is perfect for shared office space and design studios alike. Now, the J55 is a full-color Pantone validated 3D printer capable of producing unparalleled part realism at an affordable price point. I want to take a second here and show you guys some examples. We have this beautiful 3D printed banana, as well as this pineapple with exquisite detail and fine features. The J55 features an incredibly fine build resolution of 19 microns and with an integral partnership with Keyshot, a real-time 3D rendering software that allows users to create and render visual and physical textures right to grab CAD print using a .3MF file. It's easier than ever to make full color models. 
So here we have full color, full texture, all in one print. Additionally, using a software like Keyshot, it's super simple to be able to take a logo and apply it right to a surface, even in this case, a curved surface. So this pumpkin was actually 3D scanned, and then using Keyshot, this logo was applied right to the face. Now, the J55 is also incredibly user-friendly. It features a seven-inch touchscreen uh, user interface with convenient features such as service wizards and real-time graphical feedback. With the advancements in, in Polyjet 3D printing, Stratasys has introduced UV LED technology, a high reliability and low maintainability. As it doesn't require any calibration and with longer life cycles, this advancement results in decreased downtime. This new revolution in 3D printing allows users to create without compromise as they watch their ideas spin to life. Now, moving on from the J55, we're gonna come on over here to our J750. The J750 is a large format, full color Pantone validated 3D printer, capable of producing over 500,000 colors and parts with different durometers. Available on the J750 and the J8 series printers, the Agilis 30 rubber-like material, which allows users to print a range of Shore A values from 30 to 95, resulting in flexible parts, which are helpful in simulating things like overmolds and even mixing with our standard rigid material to attain polypropylene-like materials. So here we can see an example. This is a Shore A30 model. And you can see here you get all that flex, even in fine details like this. And you notice you don't even sacrifice any of the fine details that Polyjet has to offer when using this uh, flexible material. So it's an excellent addition to the Polyjet line. Also available on this platform is a two-part material called Digital ABS, which allows users to create parts with an increased heat deflection temperature, similar to that of ABS, but with the high resolution capability that Polyjet technology excels at. So here we have an example of a Polyjet 3D printed injection mold. So you can see the parts fit together very nicely all with fine details. And now the uh, the high temperature deflection temperature actually allows this to be used for short run injection mold tooling. Uh, so great for prototyping. And as I mentioned before, it offers high strength. So here we have a, a skateboard deck, which is made out of the digital ABS material. And it actually it even features uh, metal hardware and actual skateboard trucks. And you can see Full-grown adult can easily withstand the force. We have a variety of older equipment in our shop as well, uh, including the Fortis 250MC, the Fortis 400MC, and the Connex 3, all of which work great and are available uh, for RP service usage as needed, but the machines that we've highlighted today are the latest and greatest, uh, and they offer the most advanced capabilities than the previous generation machines. Now, at this point, I'd like to welcome uh, Rich back and open the floor up to some Q&A from the chat. Uh, the first one, what is the typical lead time for an RP services project? That's a great question, Catherine. Uh, typical lead time for parts tends to be in the three to five business day window. Uh, some projects are a lot quicker, though. Um, if you have a small part order, if we have the material already loaded in a machine open or you know, other, other extenuating circumstances, we might be able to get it down to as short as one to two business days, uh, or if it's a very large part order uh, or just extremely large part, uh, it may go higher than that as well. Uh, but you know, typically three to five business days is the window we usually see. Um, now that said, uh, we will make you aware of what our lead time is when we send you a quote uh, based on the actual time it takes to print and clean a part, as well as our current workload. So you always know what it's looking like uh, as far as when you should expect to get a part back if I was looking to bring one of these machines in-house, how easy is it to set up a model to print? Right, so it's actually super easy. Um, using GrabCAD Print, which is a free 3D printing uh, file software, you can take in things like OBJs, STLs, or even native CAD files, and you can drag them right into the print prep software, 
and basically change your any of the properties, uh, such as the sparse infill that we saw in that dumbbell part, um, and then simply just click print. Um, and then what, what type of files do you accept? Great. So like I said, uh, we can take STLs, OBJs, uh, 3MFs, particularly with uh, the full color printer, as those type of files are, um, it's sort of like a zip file compression. So that'll allow us to store the scene data, um, as well as color, geometric data, all that. Um, so we can take those. And then we also can accept native CAD files as well. So any of your uh, CAD file or your CAD software files can just be dropped right into GrabCAD Print. Yep, those, those typically, you know, SOLIDWORKS files are great, STEP files, Parasolids, IGES files, things like that. Any, any file format you can generate out of your CAD will work great in our printer software. Can you combine materials or mechanical properties in the same part without having to assemble the model after it's printed? That's an interesting question. So uh, the answer is yes and no. Um, on our FDM technology, we print in one material at a time, and that's, that's kind of it. So if you were looking to have certain mechanical properties in one area and certain mechanical properties in another, we would really need to print uh, multiple bodies and assemble them afterwards. That said, on the PolyJet technology, on any of our higher end technologies, such as the J, uh, J7 and 8 series, the J55, or even the Connex, we are capable of printing multiple materials at a time, which means if you have a, like, a part that has 10 different bodies and you need three of them to have a shore hydrometer of 40, uh, two bodies with a short hydrometer of 85, and let's say the rest of the part in various rigid colors, that's absolutely something that we could do on the print tray itself. Uh, no post-processing involved other than removing the supports afterwards. I think that's it, fellas. All right, well, uh, that's all the questions we have. Uh, I'd like to say thank you for everybody, everybody for joining us. Uh, if, if you do have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Trimex sales rep or our marketing team, and they'll be happy to put you in touch with us uh, to help answer those questions. But, uh, but yeah, thank you. Thank you all for joining us.